Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Landon. In today's video, we're going to be talking about 2020 goals and fasting and preparing for all of these stuff that happens in our new year. First, we're going to start out with some of my goals that I've written down. I encourage you, if you do start some goals, which all of you should, and this is what this video is going to be encouraging you guys to, to uh, write them down so you can look back them at them at the end of 2020 and see if you completed those goals and what you can do and just to make yourself better and better yourself to strive and complete these goals. So I'm gonna say some that I did write down and I'm just gonna read those to you right now. So one of mine is to hear God's voice clear, share the gospel anywhere I go, let God move through me no matter how scary it may be, learn different ways God speaks to us, have a really strong relationship with him, have talks about God easier and everything flow more fluently and have no fear. Now, I probably could have wrote down a lot more, but I couldn't think of much more to write down. And those are just a couple of goals that I have for myself in the 2020. And those are things that I just want to get better at and do better with a relationship with God and talking about God more and doing different things. I can give you guys some ideas on what your goals can be is if you struggle on reading and growing a relationship with God, you can put that down to try and strive and just read God's word every single day like we should. Or just if you have trouble with fear, because God is not a God of fear, that is the devil that uh, brings fear into our life. God is a God of peace, love, and joy. Just anything that you're struggling with or think that you could better yourself during the 2020 with God or anything, you can write that down and just try and strive and make that and don't be the ones that just fail on it. So now let's talk about fasting. Usually people will start fasting uh, the after the first Sunday of the month. Usually people will start out the new year with fasting and you can, fasting doesn't have to just be a one year thing or just during the beginning of the year. It can be anytime, anytime God needs Anytime you want to get closer with God. Fasting, if you don't know what that is, that is basically something that you sacrifice to get closer with God. So, say you sacrifice like some food thing, any food items or stuff that's really like you do a lot in your life. Like maybe you're on your phone a lot. Maybe you'll only do like an hour on your phone every day. You only do that. But if you're just doing that and not praying about it or looking to God and knowing that this is for God and I'm doing it for God, then it's not a fast. It's basically just you going, like if you're doing food, it's basically you doing a diet. What this is for in fasting is for just seeking God and Him. What this is for, it's giving a sacrifice to God and seeking Him through all of this. And when you're fasting, don't let it be known to everyone. Just be like, oh, hey, I'm fasting. Guess what? I'm fasting. Like, let that be in between you and God. And if someone asks you, then yeah. But don't be boasting about it and be like, hey, I'm fasting to better myself with God. Just keep that in between you and God and just seek God through it and know that that's going to keep you grounded in His Word. And fasting can be trying to spend more time sacrificing uh other time with other things but trying to spend more time with God sacrificing sleep getting up earlier and reading God's Word different things all kinds of different things and just pray about it and lead what's on your heart most people do the tw a 21 day fast mm -hmm. so for 21 days you give up whatever you choose and what you think God wants you to give up and you do that and it may lead to you keep on doing that because it's uh, because you've seen it's helped you and you've gotten closer to God from that. So maybe if you like gave up your phone or something or lessened the time on it, then that, and then you realize, okay, that wasn't that bad or it was hard, but it really did help my growth with God. Then maybe you should keep on doing that and not spending as much time on your phone or waking up earlier all the time or anything like that. I just wanna encourage you guys to fast and it really does help your growth with God if you pray through that time and just seek God through it and know that it's for His glory and sacrificing for Him and not just to do it because it's going to help you. So I do encourage you guys to set goals for 2020 and try and strive to complete them and do this 21-day fast as all the church, a bunch of the churches do. A lot of Christians do do it and a bunch of people. I just encourage you guys to just get better with God and this is going to help your growth 
just another way to encourage you and help your growth with God. I just want to thank you guys all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I recommend you pressing that like button. It really does help out my channel. And if you do enjoy my content, I ask you guys to subscribe and click that bell right by the right by the subscribe button. It will give you notifications every single time I post a video. And comment any questions or video ideas that you think would be good or how this video helped you or just anything you want to talk to me about or anything. And I thank you guys all for watching this video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.